out of modern day high school the powerhouse in southern california comes out with a play action pass and he's right on target to the tight end brock bowers the quarterback jt daniels play action pass plenty of time and an open receiver it's lad mcconkey and it's a first down for a 12-yard pickup they went quickly to the line of scrimmage Cook through a big hole, cooked into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. South Carolina a little flat-footed. They weren't quite in position. They went with a quick play. They pulled the backside guard and tackled the front side tackle. Warren McClendon, number 70, with two outstanding blocks on the play. But it was the tempo that Georgia used that really caught the South Carolina defense off guard. In Jordan Davis and the linebackers play downhill. Georgia not ready for the quick snap and Nolan's on target with a deep strike to Josh Mann who's tackled inside the 20. A touchdown saving tackle by a mere speed. Now South Carolina does the same thing. Quick snap, good protection. The receiver runs right by speed. Perfect throw by Nolan. Among those four DBs, Eric Stokes taken in the first round. Nolan, look out. He ducks under a hit and went down at the 19. Excellent field goal kicker. Has six game-winning field goals in his career. Fourth quarter or overtime. And that one is good from 37. The matchup. Deep shot. And he has a man running wide open. Touchdown to Jermaine Burton. Sam Smith is their best cover corner, and he was beaten badly on this play by Burton because of the quick snap and the tempo. That's both touchdowns. So Stetson Bennett, after the play fake, threw too high, and it's intercepted. Jalen Foster. Brings it back inside the 15-yard line. They put Bennett in the game, and his first pass is too high. Way too high for Brock Bowers. And another interception for South Carolina. They've had five now in two-plus games. Uh, they've had two of those return to the house for touchdowns. This one was close to being another pick six by Jalen Foster. Parker White. Started the year as the first returning four-year starter in South Carolina history. We saw four quarterbacks in the first quarter, two for each team. Here comes a South Carolina blitz, and they get to JT Daniels, led by Jabari Ellis. They go quickly again to the game. Cox, they go deep wow. for Van, and he wins the one-on-one -on -one ball. Josh Van, and he is going to get a flag. You just can't do that. Third down defense. Of course, against lesser competition. Eastern Illinois went 0 for 9. East Carolina, 2 for 16. Daniels on target. Juggling catch. A.D. Mitchell. He'd come back, called it his dream job. Daniels toward the end zone. Another open receiver behind the defense, A.D. Mitchell. Or there was a penalty. This time he gets free. He runs right by the corner, Darius Rush. South Carolina, three out of seven on third down. They've had some success launching it deep. Cody looked like he wanted to step into a long one again. A medium throw instead completed to Jalen Brooks. Lots of running room for James Cook. Weaves his way across midfield. Got tripped up by R.J. Roderick. He's 28 and 30. He was 10 years head coach of the Gamecocks. Fired during the season last year. Wow, Josh beautiful. Mann let it bounce. And beautiful execution by Coach Muschamp's special teams. Amir Speed down there at the one-yard line to make the play. With 32 seconds to go. Play clock at one. Play action pass. Doty in trouble. And Barely it didn't got look like out. he got out of the end zone from here. It's a safety. I think he got the ball out, but his knee may have been down before he reached the ball. The Georgia defense now has scored 14 points, uh, 16 points this season. They've given up nine. 
according to our Brian Taylor, crack statistician, in whom we have great faith. Kenny McIntosh. James Cook, the running back. JT Daniels steps into the throw, wide open receiver. Jermaine Burton had to go down to a knee to catch it. 36 yard try for Pot Lesney, junior from St. Simons Island, Georgia. That's more like it. Again, Georgia has not had to blitz on third down because their front four has been so effective. The screen, and it's off the hands of Harris and intercepted. Picked off by Darion Kendrick, the transfer from Clemson. Receiver, but still catchable. And normally when that ball bounces up in the air in the middle of the field like that, bad things happen. And Georgia records their fifth interception of the season as well. Really nice block by Warren McClendon, the right tackle on that play. Same play. Untouched, basically. Samir White. Touchdown, Georgia. You run a zone play. I mean, it can it can hit anywhere in here, anywhere along the line, as long as the back just has to have vision. The play before, he broke it to the right. This one to the left of the center. Good blocking up front. He's a freshman. Stays in the block, and it doesn't help. Doty got knocked free from the football. Nolan Smith hit him, and it got picked up by Quay Walker. That pressure leads to a turnover. Speed edge rush on the left side of the screen. Doty not able to find it. Ball comes out. The one thing that Georgia had not done yet this year was force a fumble. There's their first one. Football belongs to the Bulldogs. Jalen Johnson went in motion to the left, and there is Cook out of the backfield for his second touchdown of the night. One rushing and now one receiving. You had receiver and tight end going inside. Cook is breaking outside. These are unofficial visits right now that he's making to these places. And interested to know if he will visit LSU as well, his home state. Kendall Milton carries for a first down and much more out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Full catches. Daniels throws it up for grabs and it's intercepted if Jalen Foster is in bounds and he is Probably the worst decision he's made today trying to get to his tight end Fitzpatrick on the sideline Still lives here in Athens All the former coaches come back here to Athens Why wouldn't you beautiful town Milton the balls out of the end no whistle apparently not down at least not for the moment Is that the ruling? Likely to be overturned R.J. Roderick ripped it out. We'll tell you what they decided when we come back. Last year, Matt's group asked me why they didn't get us enough, which I thought was a little <laughs> unfortunate to me. Long throw, it's right. caught for a Whoa. touchdown. Josh Van made the catch. Boy, he's impressive. There, he's impressive. He's There's impressive. the promise of good things to come. Gets off the line clean and then separates to the football. Mere speed, a little bit late finding the ball, and a beautiful throw by Luke Doty. Out Three catches front. for 128 and a touchdown for Van. <laughs> what? uh, what's in the racer sauce? Uh, it's kind of a secret recipe. Uh, kind of a Rico Ramalad sauce. It's uh, kind of spicy. They're another set of eyes who can look at things from the broader picture, you know, of the whole program kind of perspective. Deep throw a and a one-handed catch wow. by Jalen Brooks. Well, this is definitely uh, worth worth another look. What do you think? Uh, top play on the top ten on Sports Sunday? It'll definitely be on there. I mean, he'd be hard pressed to find a better play from the weekend than that. Man. White rips through a hole. Got hit hard, but stayed on his feet. Made it to the 10. It was Dan Jackson. And Shane Beamer, his first loss as head coach. Greets his good buddy Kirby Smart for whom he worked for a couple of years on the Georgia staff. Final score is Georgia 40 and South Carolina 13.
For Molly McGrath, Todd Blackledge, and our terrific crew led by Josh Hoffman, Scott Johnson, Sean McDonough saying so long. Let's go to Provo now. Here's Dave Fleming with Rod Gilmore. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.